Bible says that Jesus learned obedience to suffering. He wasn't just obedient because he was Jesus. He learned obedience, the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, to suffering. He had to enter suffering to know who he was. Suffering shows you who you are. Amen. And so he entered into suffering to know who he was. And when he did the right thing, that's when he knew his heart was fixed. And it's through pain that God will use these negative things to bring us to him. And if we understand that this world has nothing good to offer, it is filled with pain and suffering and all that's negative, why then do I want to live in this world? Let us be like Moses who said, in the book of Hebrews, it declared about him, he ran for a season to suffer and knew God than to live it up in the kingdom of Egypt, a season so eternal. Let's be like Abraham, the Bible says, when his body was dead, and his white body was dead, yet by faith they believed the promise over their life. They knew each other. By faith, Isaac came. Let's be like David. That even in the midst of when his people turned against him, when Saul was chasing him, he encouraged himself in God and found God and God strengthened him. That's right. Let's be like Jacob. God, no matter what the situation I encounter, I will not let you go until you bless me. Your blessing is determined upon your heart for God. Receiving your blessing is determined upon your heart for God. And let's be as Joseph. Father, I will not sin at this real wickedness against you. And so I encourage you that you read the word and pray more that you be dig deeper for the things of God. Because if we don't, we will enter into these temptations that Christ said you must watch and pray to be careful. Because if you lack prayer, your spiritual eyes is blinded by the flesh. Amen. And I want to encourage you to hear God's keep standing. These are my viewers.